bedelorophobia, bedelorophobia, B-D-E-L-Y-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. This is the fear of darkness. You know how little kids all say, I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah, they have bedelorophobia. My goodness, that is a mouthful. This is another uh, specific phobia, which is an intense or irrational fear of fear. My goodness, let me start that sentence again. It's a type of specific phobia, which is a an intense and irrational fear of a specific object, or in this case, a situation that can cause panicking anxiety attacks. People with this fear are likely to um, avoid being in the dark, like going to the movies or sleeping in a dark room. They usually have a nightlight on and they may have difficulty sleeping if the room is dark. Of course, this is a treatable thing. Um, and there is no currently no famous person that is publicly known to have bedelorophobia. But the word was first used in the early 1900s, but the fear of darkness has been around for, of course, much longer than that. There's evidence that people have been afraid of the dark since the Stone Age. For example, some early cave paintings depict people with torches, suggesting that they were afraid of being in the dark. There are a number of reasons why people might be afraid of the dark. One of the reasons is that the dark can be a place where predators lurk. Another is that a dark place can be where we cannot see what is around us, which can be unsettling for some people. But a dark place is where our imaginations can run wild, which can lead to fear and anxiety. It's a relatively common phobia. It affects about one in 10 people. So even though there's no famous people that are publicly known to have this fear, you can pretty much guarantee someone out there does. There's a number of treatments available for this, of course, um, and it is more common in children than in adults, and it is more common in women than in men.